Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bon Bosher, and today I wanted to talk to you about utilizing Rex loops in the NNXT sampler in Reason. And so the track that you just heard, I utilized that specific technique in three different loops to make up this uh, little ditty here. And why I wanted to talk about this today was because it's just another way of utilizing Rex loops not just in the the Rex player, the Octo Rex, but um, in the sampler, affording you some you know opportunities of customization that um, might prove a little more tedious and troublesome in the Octo Rex player. But again, there are no right or wrong answers when it comes to you know sampling and things like this and loops. So um, whatever works for you works best. But I wanted to shed some light on this particular technique to give you more of an idea of you know how powerful these devices and reason are. So um, real quick, let's start off by creating a new project. So file new or control N. And in the rack, my default rack here, let's start off right clicking and creating a combinator. Now in the combinator, let's right click and let's create a NNXT advanced sampler. The really nice part about this sampler is you can literally click and drag any Rex loop into it and it will automatically map each transient and sound into its own section or zone in the sampler. Um, so right now I am in the factory sounds of the Dr. Rex drum loops but this is not limited to just drums this is anything you want it to be anything at all. So um, and you know with you know reason um, nowadays, the best part is you can create your own Rex loops right from the get-go, and then you can just import them into the sampler and go from there. So let's go to Techno and the drum loops here, and let's just find find a, a, a random loop here. It's a little basic. A little basic. Okay, better. It has some more uh, movement. Okay, so Surgeon, right? We put in Surgeon, and now what just happened is I clicked and dragged it into the NNXT. And like I said, it will automatically route each sample to its own zone with its own root key. And of course, you can customize this any way you like. And it's just really, really versatile. So what I did in the track that you heard before was that I... Um, utilized an arpeggiator on the NNXT and drew in notes. So um, we can definitely do that. That's just one of the very many ways uh, to do this. So I'll right click on the sampler here and I will create a arpeggiator. It will automatically route. So just press tab to flip the rack and you'll see that everything's routed good to go. And um, let's go into the sequencer and I'm just gonna randomly draw in notes from the piano roll and as you can hear the samples are pretty low because the default sample sound in the NNXT is at zero it's it's not very loud so you of course can control a select all the samples and just bump up the level so you can actually hear what's going on just for so what you can hear sake I'm just gonna bump it all the way up to 12 decibels but let's go back into the uh, rack here or the se sequencer, I mean. And again, so if I press a key with the arpeggiator on, and it's a little loud. It's a pretty, it's a banging techno loop, so maybe turn it down a bit to maybe 7.2. But the coolest part about the arpeggiator is we can draw chords with drum loops, if you follow me here, and it will create a pattern all of its own and you can make it rhythmic you can make it whatever you want you make it glitchy that's the best part and that's why I wanted to talk to you about this was because of how versatile and like how much more you can do with it than just you know simply using a recto or an octo loop player so um, on this let's just right click on it and create a track for arpeggiator one and let's just draw some notes in I'm literally just gonna at random make a sustaining note just like that then I'm gonna take that note and I'm gonna put it somewhere else there there a kick drum and it's it's 
on how you program the arpeggiator for this particular application. But, um, so, you know, one octave, no insert, make a pattern however you like. Uh, so let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, one. So like that. Put on the shuffle, give it a little swing, and I'm not gonna know how this is gonna sound, but I wanna just kinda give you an idea of what you can do with this. So uh, let's go back to the sequencer. Or actually, let's just stay here and take a listen. So as you can hear, it's, a, it's, it's already got like a jack and feel, it's a little breaky, it's got its own little thing going on, and we completely just chopped and screwed this loop from what it was on this. To this. And that was, you know, just literally dragging a Rex loop into an NXT player. And that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about today, was how customizable this particular technique can really be, and how you can make some really nice rhythmic loops, glitch loops, whatever you want. And, uh, you know, it's just super versatile. And of course, if you wanted the actual notes to be able to actually, you know, can control how long or how much they sustain individually, just arpeggio the notes to the track. And the one thing is always just to make sure that whatever you want to arpeggiate is actually on the arpeggiator. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. So yeah, you can click and drag this back up to the combinator, and you can delete the arpeggiator once you're done with it, but I really wouldn't. I would just keep it around. That way you can make infinite possibilities. But that's up to you. If you're good with what you want, then you're set. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I hope this sparks some creativity and the, uh, even the default sounds of reason. So yeah, um, you know, really, really hope that uh, this really gets some of you guys going in, in a new way of making some chopped and screwed loops. But um, yeah, if you like the video, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give it a like. And um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.